So Dream's Minecraft Speedrunner vs. 4 Hunter series had its finale, and assuming he doesn't have another rematch, we can guess that there's gonna be a 5th Hunter soon. 5 Hunters is a lot, and Dream's gonna need some tricks up his sleeve, or he's gonna have a really hard time even winning one manhunt. So today, I came up with a couple of really cool tricks and strategies that Dream, or even you can use. Some of them you've probably seen before, and others you probably haven't. But whether or not you've seen these, if you're not subscribed, please just consider subscribing. These types of videos take hours, and I'm trying to hit 2,500 subscribers before the end of February, so I would seriously appreciate it. Enjoy the video. So this first trick is probably my favorite just because of how fast paced it is. Basically in Minecraft, there's this item called the Respawn Anchor, and it allows you to set a spawn in the nether. But if you try to use the Respawn Anchor in the overworld, it blows up like instantly. In order to craft the anchor you need 6 crying obsidian and 3 glowstone, and then another 4 glowstone to activate it. You're probably wondering, where is the speedrunner going to get this crying obsidian? Well perfectly enough, crying obsidian is actually a piglin drop, and it's quite common. It has around an 8 or 9% chance of dropping, so while the speedrunner is just gathering ender pearls, they can grab them as well. I tested this out in a single player world, and using a diamond shovel, I was able to dig down, place the respawn anchor, and activate it in under 4 seconds. Dream could probably do this even faster, which leaves the hunters with no time to react. It's very important to dig down when you're setting off this respawn anchor, because that will actually prevent you from taking a lot of damage, but this is probably the most overpowered strategy there is. This next trick is pretty basic in the sense that it's tough to learn, but it can only help you so much. So in Minecraft, there's blocks that are impacted by gravity. These include gravel, sand, concrete powder, and some other weird blocks that you've probably never heard of. Now while these blocks are affected by gravity, for a split second after they're placed, they actually act like any other block. So for example, if you're placing sand down on a wall, it stays solid for probably around half a second and then starts falling. The reason I bring this up is because of wall running. Wall running is a tactic used by Dream constantly in his manhunts where he runs along a wall using blocks. Basically what I'm saying is that you can wall run with sand or gravel and while it is very tough to learn and do consistently, it prevents the hunters from being able to use your wall running trail to follow you. There's clearly a lot of risk in doing this but I think it would be really cool to use in a manhunt. Now, the next strategy takes place in a warm ocean. Let's say Dream is boating across the ocean and comes across a coral reef. A coral reef seems pretty irrelevant in the middle of a manhunt, but Dream can keep an eye out for pufferfish. Basically in Minecraft, if you have a water bucket, you can actually pick up a fish using that bucket. And later on, if Dream is getting chased by the hunters, he can place down the pufferfish in a bucket, and there's a high chance that it will at least poison one of the hunters. I tried this and if you place down the bucket as soon as you jump, you can actually prevent yourself from getting hit by the pufferfish. If you've watched Dream's manhunts at all, you've definitely seen his clutches. They're probably the most famous part of the manhunts, whether it's the basic MLG water bucket or even that insane ladder clutch. But what if I told you that you can clutch with only a block? It sounds crazy, right? Well in Minecraft there's this mechanic called climbing, where if you fall onto the very edge of a block, the game boosts you on top of the block and you take no fall damage. This is called block stopping and it's extremely hard to do. I actually tried this like 30 times with no actual result. However, if Dream can pull this off in a manhunt, this would be absolutely insane. So for the final trick, we have to go all the way back to a Skywars trend in 2016. This was called the I am stone trend. Basically a player would put on a Minecraft skin that looked exactly like the basic stone texture and would hide from other players. Now this isn't really popular anymore, but Minecraft has a feature that allows you to add two layers of skins. Basically what this means is that you can quickly swap between two different skins in order to use for your advantage. It doesn't even have to be a stone skin either. Dream can use netherrack, obsidian, or even the skin of one of the hunters to quickly trick them in the heat of a situation. Anyways, that pretty much sums it up for strategies that Dream or even you can use in a manhunt. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out.